Hi, this is James from Digital Storm. I'm here today to show you how to properly unpackage your system and set up your computer on arrival at your doorstep. Now, I want to take a second and take a look at this cardboard box. This is a standard box from Digital Storm. Every computer will be shipped out in this hefty reinforced cardboard box. It's designed to take a lot of abuse from shipping companies. We insure your system for the value of the rig, but we like to insure our customers that your system will be perfect on arrival. I'm going to show you guys how to properly set this up in a minute, and we're going to open this box up and walk you through it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to unbox your system. As you can see, this is pretty hefty, really thick industrial tape. You want to get a box cutter or some type of knife to cut this. It's going to pop open. Accessory box. With all your additional parts. It came with retail hardware. And then your binder. So this is your binder from Digital Storm. As you open it, on the left hand side you'll see your guide for your operating system, either Vista or XP. You'll also have a piece of paper. This is going to be a document with your order number and your configuration. Now on the first, on the right hand side, you'll see the certificate of ownership. This is a very unique piece of paper. Now every stage that your system goes through, either assembly, testing, or final QA, there's a certain group of people that are specialized on making sure that everything is properly put together. They sign this piece of paper and put a seal on it stating that everything's 100% legit. Now in the middle of the binder is going to be your warranty documents just stating on how your warranty works if you ever want to go over it. At the end of the binder you'll have your variety of different CDs, your operating system disk which is unique. If you ever need to reformat you have your operating system disk. You have your image disks if you guys need to uh, set it back to an earlier date when you first got your system, you'll be able to put it in, no problem, ready to go. As well as you have your original drivers for your motherboard and video cards. So moving on from the binder, I wanted to go into the accessory box. This is a white rectangular box. This is going to hold all of your accessories that we didn't use with your retail hardware. As far as manuals, power cables, adapters for VGA to uh, DVI, extra HDMI outputs, pretty much anything we don't use is going to be in this accessory box for you. Now let's take this kick-ass system out of the box. Now removing the foam, you should just lift it up because it's the foam very nice. Now taking out the computer, you want to go have a look, put your hand all the way down to the very bottom of the case, cup it, just lift. No problem. Now that we got this case on the table, you want to remove the plastic. Just easily, nicely goes up. This is to ensure that there's no scratches on the case. So first thing, you want to take these thumb screws off. Might be a little tight. They should be hand tight. If they're not, you might need a screwdriver. This is going to take, come out nice and easy. Make sure that this is not hooked up to anything like it is. You don't want to accidentally pull too hard. Put the door down. And now you want to just take out this uh, custom made foam here. Nice and gently. Remove it. Now that we removed the custom foam out of the inside of your case, the first thing you got to do is you put your door on. You want to make sure that this fan is hooked up properly. Let's go ahead and reinsert that little connector. Put the door on. Put the screws in. One, there's two. So now that you got your case behind your desk, I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough on what all of the connections mean and where you want to hook up your proper connections to. We have the power supply here with the power supply switch. You're going to want to hook up your DVI cable to the first top slot, the one closest to the motherboards. That's this one right here. You're going to have your audio hookups for your speakers your ethernet connections, and your USBs for your keyboard and mouse. It's all very simple to hook up. Once you got all that hooked up, make sure the switch is on. Turn it on and blast off.